Um, not sure if this exactly says that on it. No, it doesn't. Okay, but you just stick that in there. If you don't have these install discs, I'm pretty sure the bootcamp assistant tells you other ways on how to do it. Um, I'm just not gonna do that. Also. Installation should start automatically. If not, that's why I kept that window open. There it goes. There. It starts automatically. All right, this is how it comes up. Welcome to Bootcamp Installer. Click Next. You know, IXM. Next. Apple Software updates for Windows. You need that. Click Install. All right, and this will install your drivers. That was pretty loud. No big deal. Alright, bootcamp, help, whatever. Alright, um, let's see, what's this? Find the graphics. Okay, cycle bins up there. Um, Let's see here, now I'm going to set it up to boot to OS X because I'm not going to be using this a lot. Most of the time I'm using XP is going to be in VMware Fusion or when I'm using my capture card. Um, it says click on the bootcamp tray icon, so that's this one. Then go to, I'm pretty sure, yeah, control, bootcamp control panel. Now select the system you want to start up. Mac HD, um, and then you have selected Mac, Mac HD, you click restart, um, we'll start up using, yes, there you go. Okay, um, there you have it, that's how you set up boot camp using um, Mac OS 10.5 bootcamp and Windows XP um let me what is it show you how to start up Windows in VMware Fusion which as you see is in my dock right there it says right there bootcamp partition you just Start it right there, and it'll come up on the menu. I don't know why it's like that. Um, let me just set this up. Windows XP Professional. Um, I would never change that because I changed the operating system. Because before my Bootcamp partition was just a close that out. Um, and up here you have zoom in for you. Over there, you have the untitled hard drive, which is actually your Windows partition. You can actually go in. Let's see here, documents and settings. You can go to your user. And you can actually take stuff from it. Um, my friend said that there's a way to unlock it. Like, let me show you. As you can see here, let me zoom in a little bit more. Right there, there's a little lock on the folder, so you can't do that. You can't change the icon, you can't rename it, you can't do anything. But my friend did say that there's a way where you can change that to allow you to put stuff in and change the icon. Because right now you can only take stuff out of it, so if I wanted. Well, there's nothing in there. Let me just go to, where is it? Documents, it's just in there, just kidding. If you go to all, all users, documents, my music, sample music, and you see there's these two 
um, songs or sounds or whatever, you can just take them out right there. But of course, Windows Media doesn't work on Mac, or at least not a default Mac. Might you probably run it with some program? But there you have it. All right, I'm gonna cut it now because there's only about a couple seconds left. All right, bye.